I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Fishing for Summer Flounder, Fluke Jigging from Shore Boat and Kayak, and you can learn more about the book at flounderbook.com. I'll be using three and four ounce Spro Bucktails tipped with Gulp Nemesis. One foot above that on a 5 Gamagatsu bait holder hook is a six inch Gulp Grub and a Tsunami Hollow Teaser. And this trip's a lot of fun. In the back corner there we have John, and uh, next to me in the orange slickers we have John, and of course I'm John. So we've got three Johns on the boat. Um, and yet we're jigging for fluke uh, in roughly 80 to 90 feet of water. And uh, well, there's John number one in the corner, and he's hooked up. No, that's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I said, do I have Good. you? Good. Yeah. What buck tail you got in there? Six? I got a four. Four. Tell me when you're closer. Yeah. This is a serious way. I mean, this is a, this is a duty, uh, landing. Can you get the pose or not? Uh, probably 30 feet away. Whoa. Okay, so you can scratch one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, John's on. I think mine's a sea bass. Yeah, I was going to say, John, keep the camera on you, please. <laughs> I'm sorry I focused on my rod for a second. I, I did look away, I, I confess. Here he comes. Nice, nice. Oh, I know, bad job. I know, that's yeah. that was my reaction. Yeah. I thought he'd be bigger, actually. Hey, you know what? That's a nice start. Yeah, yeah. And here's my consolation fish. All right, these sea bass are going to be a problem on this trip. Um, yeah, this one hit the gulp grub, so no no trouble. But uh, a lot of them are going to hit the nemesis and rip the tail off. And you, you're going to see that that's going to really be an issue. But um, I managed to solve that problem, and we'll get to that in a few minutes. And, and it worked out really well. And I think that's a, it's going to be a good takeaway from this video. And we're in about 85 feet of water in the ocean off eastern Long Island. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah, that's a good one. You got that job. Oh, yeah. you that much. What, you're on? No. Oh. All right, he's, he's not huge. He just felt. He's not bad, though, I don't think. The other thing I want to address on this video, and you can't quite see it here, um, is I've got a new handle on this reel. I mean, anybody who's watched my videos know that I really like these quantum accurate reel for the flipping switch. Uh, but what I learned recently is that Jigging World uh, in New Jersey has come up with a power handle for it. And it's lightweight, uh, very comfortable. It's got uh, ball bearings uh, where the really uh, nice EVA um, knob is. And it's just, oh my god, it's like a different reel with this handle on there. I can't believe the difference. So. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get to see more of that and yeah, you know, this is an okay fish But boy, you know when you're bringing up the larger fish from deep water uh, It's just a, a great thing and uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's like a completely different reel with that handle on there And I'll put an affiliate link uh, to that handle in the description of the video You don't hesitate to set that hook really quick when you feel weight if you miss them, it's going to come back. So I missed them. It doesn't matter. That fish is going to be there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, this one's better. All right, we got to go. We got a big fish on. Oh, yeah. This is a definitely a good one. All right. Mr. Skinner, do you want me to net this one for you? No. That way it goes in the net? Just watch my <laughs> hey, John did a Whoa. fine job last week. Your thing came off. Oh. Got me again. And you got hooked again? I got hooked again. 
putting it back in. Do you, uh, we should just move this to the other side. Yeah, I, I'll just stick it in that thing. This is, I mean, it's not a cow, but it's it's, a, it's better than the last oh, one. Oh, shit. I'm on your line. Would you believe this shit? Oh, geez, not that big, but he's a nice fish. fish. Uh, Boy, it's boiled out here, though. Oh, you're free? No, I'm... Oh, you're in there. <laughs> I'm free, brother. Very yeah, good. Very good. Johnny, I see you and I have to catch all the keepers today. Oh, that's another good one. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. Uh, probably the same size, maybe a half inch bigger. It's bigger than the other one I had. You think? Yeah. Wow, he spit the hook too. Right? Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Oh yeah. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. You took my fish? Yeah, he did. I did. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, he definitely did. Damn. So it sure looked like uh, John in the middle there picked up the fish that John on the back corner just lost. You almost up? Yeah. He's not. He's not a monster. He's nice though. It's a nice fish. Yeah. I really appreciate you that you hooked him first. Keeping him around. Holding it in place for about 30 seconds. And I gotta go fishing, alright? You're on your own. <laughs> okay, so this was a, a, a big move for me that really paid off. You see on the floor those uh, bit off gulps, and in that bucket there's a whole bunch of them. I'm just getting killed by the sea bass. Um, ripping off the backs of the, the gulp nemesis. So what I did was I grabbed a jar of uh, otter tails and um, I'm going to stick that right over the damaged gulp. And here's a better look at um, at least what the otter tail package looks like. The, you know, certainly that's not the color I'm using, but that's the, uh, the otter tail bait strip. And this is the first drift after putting that strip on. And uh, the idea here is that the otter tail bait strips are really durable, so you know sea bass can hit those things all they want, and they're not going to tear them apart. They've got this beautiful fluttering action on there, so by just sticking that on the end over the damaged gulp, um, I still have the attractive capabilities of the gulp on there, but I've got this nice long fluttering tail that uh, the fish can't tear off. So that was the idea behind this, and, and it's going to work. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, huh? Come on, Johnny. Nah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love that feeling. Oh, this is a good one. I know I've said that before, but I want a net. Way easier now. Huh, not that no, big, but it's nice fish. Uh, it's nice. Oh, he tried to get out. Ah, otter tail. Oh, nice. yes. Nice. Catch, John. Very nice. Good fish. So, you know, because uh, they kept eating those damn things off, so I figured. He's got weight. That's a nice heavy fish. Yeah, I got him. Go fish. So this rod is an older tsunami that they don't make anymore. It's an airwave, but they make one that's very similar to this. It's uh, the, the classic model, seven foot H casting, and uh, that one is rated 12 to 25 pound test line. This one's rated 15 to 25 pound test line. Very similar, and that quantum accuracy is uh, spooled with 15 pound test braid. Now, it's very important to use thin line for this kind of fishing, so you can get down. Uh, through 75-80 feet of water with um, a couple of ounces. 
Yes, very good. Yes. <laughs> this is it. This is like at least as good as the other one. All right, cool. I got the net. Oh, I love this handle. No, it's hard. We're right. We're right over one of okay. our marks. Okay. We're literally over one of the starting spots. John, just pass me the net when you get a chance. I'm ready. I'm ready, and the fish is almost up. Thank you. I didn't want to stand there, you know, holding it. Fish. The fish. Get the net. Net? Net. Oh, no way. I swear to God. You guys sitting there going for the beers and everything, yeah. and <laughs> giving up. On that's what spot. I was waiting for. So when the beer craving kicked in, and I can. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Whoa. Yeah, I know. Nice head shake. Yeah. Still? Yeah. Huh. Not. Oh, well, he's a nice fish. But very nice fish. Huh. Some fight, though. Yeah. Wait, whatever this crazy current is, too, might you call it? Oh, that's a really nice fish, though. It is so, a nice yeah. fish. Very nice fish. Well, at one point, that he curled up like I felt like I was on a lobster pot, you know? He just. <laughs> Boy, that's three in a row on that out of tail. So John on the back corner just wasn't having a good day. And he's a good fisherman. It just wasn't working out. So it was nice to see him hook up here right at the end of the trip. Here there you go. go. Here we go. The 10, come on. It's oh, a it's a good one. one. It's a good one. Yeah. Great. Got All right. Time. I hate to tell you that now I got to boat it. <laughs> and I never think like that. Right, let me, good one. Let me net him. I got him. I got him. <laughs> you have trouble netting with two hands. Got a little lighter. It's okay. I would just pull this guy back though. Yep. All these I need. All right, so that's definitely not the big one he was looking for, but uh, he came out the next day with his family, and boy, his luck changed. Just shy of 10 pounds. Okay, thanks for watching.